Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see configure alerts and detection in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Microsoft Defender for Endpoint provides configuration options for alert and detections. The configurations include notification, custom indicators and detection rules. If you are a SOC analyst who has implemented Defender for Endpoint and you are responsible for managing alert related settings. In the environment, you will manage live response settings, alert notification settings, indicators and custom detections. Your threat hunting team has provided you with a CSV file with the indicators that they would like Defender for Endpoint to alert on. And you have to configure the settings including all those things in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Alright, so let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portals. So again we have to check in the advanced features and make sure that live response, live response, unsigned script execution, uh, custom network indicators are the settings that we have to turn on. So if I go to settings again endpoints under settings general area advanced features and in here we'll check live response live response unsigned script execution custom network uh, indicators custom network indicators uh, when you turn on this feature you will it will allow you to create indicators for IP addresses domains or URLs which determine whether they will be allowed or blocked based on the custom indicator list so next one we will configure alert notifications we can configure defender for endpoint to send email notification to specified recipients for new alerts this feature enables us to identify a group of individuals who will immediately be informed and can act on alerts it can be your complete SOC team it can be your complete security team l1 team monitoring whatever you have to send in the ip addresses here Make sure that only users with managed security settings permissions can configure email notifications. If you have chosen to use basic permission management, users with security administrator or global admin roles can configure email notification. You can set, set the alert severity levels that trigger notifications. If you are using RBAC, recipients will only receive notification based on the device groups that were configured in the notification rules when you are under endpoint uh, when you are under settings and then endpoints you go on to email notification under journal tab obviously on the security.microsoft.com or 365 defender portal add a notification rule there is no rule yet click on here and you will have the rule name okay you will uh, include the organization name you will include the organization specific portal link uh, with the tenant ID to allow access to a specific tenant include device information it depends upon you if you want to include this or not you can add the alert severity you can mention the email address of the recipient to which you are sending these alerts to and then you review the rule and it is done okay after you configure an alert there might be situation manage you have where you have to manage the alert suppression for example there might be scenarios where you need to suppress alerts from appearing in the portal we can create suppression rules for specific alerts known to be or a, which is a known tool or a process in the organization which is meant to not cause any harm right again we are in the settings endpoints and we are under 
How do I see alerts and points under rules? We have alert suppression, right? It says alert suppression rules have moved. Go there now. Okay, under rules, alert tuning. Alert suppression is now known as alert tuning. If you already have uh, rules configured here, you will see them. If not, you can create a new alert suppression rule here. You can select the services for which you want to suppress the alerts. You can add conditions, filter, actions, name. If needed, I can create a separate video to create a suppression rule, but this is self-explanatory. You can create those. And next, you have to manage the indicators. Indicators of compromise or IOCs matching is an essential feature in every endpoint protection solution. This capability gives SecOps or security operations the ability to set a list of detection indicators and for blocking, which can be prevention or response or and response, you create indicators that define the detection, prevention and execution or exclusion of entities. Currently supported sources are the cloud detection engine of Defender for Endpoint, the automated investigation and remediation engine and the endpoint prevention engine which is Defender Antivirus. So the, uh, if you read, want to read more about the cloud detection engine uh, which is the which regularly scans collected data and tries to match the indicator we set then there is endpoint prevention engine uh, there are same list of indicators which are prevented if the defender antivirus is the primary av configured the matched indicators will be treated according to the settings okay and to manage the indicators again we are under uh, settings it was here but now you have to come again on the endpoints select the indicators under rules and no i don't want to ip addresses you want to block or allow urls domains you want to block or allow or certificates you can create indicators for files you can create a contextual indicator from the files details page you can create an indicator for an ips or urls or domains and you can create indicator for ips urls or domains under this section you can create indicators based on certificates certificate scenario some of the common use cases would be uh, when you need to deploy blocking technologies such as ASR or attack surface reduction rules and controlled folder access but need to allow behaviors from signed applications by adding the certificate in the allow list. All right, this was it. So I hope this was this session was informatory for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.